What's the norm? What's the norm? How old, for example? How old? No, no, let me let me let me explain. How old is Mary likely to be? Oh, I see. How old is the age? How, how old was Mary? Do you think? When she, when she had when, when she consummated her marriage, according to Western biblical scholars, how old would Mary have been? They don't know because no. they they do. Uh, for example, uh, uh, an often uh, cited figure is 12 years old. Do, do, do you accept the acceptable for an older man to have intercourse with a 12 year old? No. Yes. Yes. It comes from a, it comes from a certain Catholic encyclopedia. Or you can read it online. Which references what? Well, you can Google it. No, you're being deceitful now. You either don't know this or you're deceitful. Oh, if you're going to be personal, and if you're going to be personal, no, no, okay. I've read what you. Just right. What does that Catholic encyclopedia reference? Right. It references. Well, I, I don't. Top of my head, I don't remember. You don't know. I don't remember. You're quoting things right. you don't know. But it references a Gnostic. Let, 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 let me let me just uh, point this out. The average age of consent in the Bible is puberty. All right. I've so not, if I've a woman reaches, you no, you didn't. I, you said I, I didn't know an answer. That's not a lie. Scholars accept. No. No, no, you just told me that. No. Scholars there are some you scholars who say that, that Mary was 12 years old oh, when so she. Only some. Yeah. Oh no, you said the majority of scholars. No, well, I said some. I you said, said so. Okay, you're quibbling now. You're quibbling. No, I'm not quibbling. So, I'm putting out your, why did God your, not prohibit? Okay. To try and make is it not the case that the puberty was the norm biblically for marriage in the Let Bible? Me to you. Can, you Let me Can you answer my question? Can you answer my question? Can you answer my question? I'm explaining to you. Okay. There's a world of difference between what an average man from the tribe of Israel does yeah. and what is supposedly the moral example of all of humanity. Right. What about in Jesus' day? And then proclaims it as a moral. Okay. What about in Jesus' day? According to Jesus, okay. what, what what's the age of what's the age of consent for marriage in Israel? In according to the laws. Ah. So what's the normal practice then in Israel? Why, why the normal the practice, practice is puberty. Why, why, no. So when a woman and a man reach um, biological purity, they can actually get married. That's the norm in rabbinical law at that time. Now, what, so how could they be? They could be 10 years old, they could be 12 years old. So wait, you don't get your morality from the Bible, you get your morality from secular liberal values in the last 50 years. Well, you don't get your morality God, from God, you're, you're a secularist, you're which means, in effect, you're an atheist. Okay, you're an atheist. We are. I'm an atheist. We are. Now. Yes, in I'm effect, you are. Because your morality, your morality comes on, no. from the West, which is secular, yeah, yeah, not from used God. To not be secular. It used to be Indeed. Secular. But now it's secular. And you get your values now from a secular, liberal uh, context. So your values don't come from God, which you initially claimed, which now you're being deceitful, because they don't come from the Bible. They come from a secular, I'm, I'm liberal, atheist environment. Drugs. And what you've done is you universalized your regional local morality, which morality comes from universal. Western liberal values, and now you're using it to judge Muslims and all, all, all of mankind. Now, this is typical uh, Western arrogance. This is Western arrogance. The Westerners think they can preach to Muslims and the rest of the world about what is right and wrong. And this is not acceptable, because Muslims and others, Christians as well, used to follow the divine law. And the divine law comes from God, not from the BBC and the Daily Mail and Sky News, uh, which is what he follows. He doesn't follow God's law, although he pretends he does. And this is the, this is the root of the problem. He's abandoned God and he, he has atheism and he dresses it up as God. So, you need to accept that. You need to have so, so uh, my accusation is you're an atheist in effect. You're not. You don't follow God because you follow atheist, secular, liberal values rather than values that come from divine law. Can you prove that? Yes. Uh, okay. Because you are coming from a position of secular liberal you're values in the West. But I I'm just. You're interrupting. You're interrupting. We've, we've talked Until very recently about. in the West, if you look at the age of consent laws in the United States, uh, so in I'm Britain, in Christian Britain, in the 19th in the 19th century, the age of consent was seven, was seven years old in Britain in the 19th, in Christian 19th century, is that my but, moral not seven. but is now that my moral he comes from atheist example? secular liberal values and he's using it to criticize Muslims. No, so note he's no longer, he's no longer a Christian. But he's pretending to be a Christian, pretending, pretending. to have godly values. But the evidence, historical Where evidence of Christian countries, affirms, look at America. In many states in the 19th century, that. there were no age of consent laws. This Muslims. is when America this was Christian. Now it's secular. It now it's secular. He supports it's Western okay values, secular liberal mind. values. So do not Keep be deceived, folks. These Christians are pretending never, to be religious, but they don't follow God. The only people who do follow God are traditional 
Christians, which you're not because you're an atheist, in effect, oh, mate, and so Muslims, who Muslims who follow... Do I love Richard Dawkins? No, you follow secular atheist values. You don't follow oh, okay. godly values. So you don't I've already all. demonstrated you don't that. You don't at all. So tolerance is not a value of yours. Okay. Is tolerance so a value I think we, we've established that so in Christian Britain in the 19th century, the age of consent was seven, uh, but in his atheist secular country, which he now follow? supports, do you have to follow Muhammad's example? You follow example? atheism. Do, you follow do you atheism. Have to follow Muhammad's example? Of course. There you are, ladies and gentlemen. Muhammad had sex with a nine-year-old. He has to follow it. Listen, no, no, no. let's address Aisha. Aisha, Aisha was, was biologically a woman, no, she wasn't. according she was playing with to. Dogs, no, no. Because why did Muhammad wait three years? We he, know why. he was Al engaged to her Al from six. Tells us why. why? Because he, uh, he was waiting to give her the bridal gift. Al Tabri yeah. says that in your sources. But he waited so to. Be, be, because that when she a was a woman, then the cons consummation no, of the marriage could take place. Gift. Now, this is and a biblical was, principle. A biblical the law gift. says you get he's married at puberty. So he, he is an atheist, an atheist. You're an atheist, sir, pretending to be a Christian. So don't follow atheist Christians, follow real Christians who believe in God's law, and follow Christians and Muslims who also believe in the divine law. But these are fake Christians. They're not real Christians. Sorry. I ask him, but you can you ask him this question? He's God, he's biblical God. He can come from a tree, he can come from the ground, he can come from a sky. Why he chose to come from a little girl vagina, private bar? Uh, well, I, 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 you need to ask him that question. But I'm just saying that his values come from atheism and secular liberalism. They don't come from divine law. And so he's misleading you and deceiving you when he argues as he does. Deceiving you when he argues as he does. As he does. He's not arguing from the Bible, he's not arguing from Christianity, he's arguing from the Daily and all of these media. And he's weaponizing atheism, pretending to be a Christian, to attack Muslims who haven't given up on divine law. So don't, just don't be deceived. By the, this, is, this is a contract, an atheist contract. You're very honest and I appreciate your honesty. Thank you. But I wish you would be honest in your atheism. Your, your, your values don't come from God, they come from atheist secular morality. Because I imagine no, you were no, born no. here. Yes? Is Islam? Born here? Yes, of course I was born here. Right, so where you, were you born? You were where were you born? born? I was also born here. Oh, you're English. You, are you? you were probably oh, jolly good. with the same secular values that everyone most likely here. Actually, I wasn't. No, you were, were not raised no, in secular no. values. No, I was. I was raised in a Christian home where we have Christian values, not ah, atheist values, right, like right, you right, now right, follow. Right, right, right. Because you now abandon the Bible, so abandon biblical morality. You thought you could have sex with the nine-year-olds. You weren't, were you? No. Oh, no. I was taught that biblically, no, you see, you're weaponizing your prejudice and your bigotry against Muslims. I love Muslims. Because, no, you, no, you, this is all a lie. This is all a lie. You know a lot about This is all a lie. This is all a deceit. I, as an Englishman, can spot a lying Englishman. I tell you, folks, he is deceiving you. He does not love Muslims. If he did, he would speak with Muslims with respect. I can read it in your... As an Englishman, I can see the lie. In your face, you don't. You don't like Muslims. You hate Islam and you hate Muslims. I know because I can read it in your face. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm not going to talk to atheists anymore who pretend to be Christians. He pretends to be a Christian. He's not a Christian. So thank you very much. And may you turn to God at this time and abandon atheism and hatred of Islam and Muslims. That's my message to you.